Continental Divide Trail, San Juan National Forest. I'm gonna start a 95 mile section hike of the Continental Divide Trail. All right, so here's the start of the trail. Mountains, I'm up on Wolf Creek Pass, and there's the Continental Divide Trail sign. All right, let's get going. I already came across my first deer, like the first hundred yards in. She came skipping across the trail. I'm currently at 11,100 feet. And I totally feel the altitude. This uh, first mile of trail has just steadily climbed up from the uh, Highway 160 there. Um, looks a lot closer than it feels like I've gone, but it's had a lot of switchbacks, so that makes the climbing a little easier. Huh, but I still got more to go. I reached the, well, I think I reached the top of the first climb. Hard to say. It's so foggy. I don't know what my views are going to be like. I know there's some spectacular views, but Fortunately, there will be lots of them along this trail, so at some point <laughs> I'll be able to show those. But it's kind of cool walking through the fog like this. It's nice that the trail's leveled out. Kind of can see some views around me. I'm not that high above tree line yet, but there's a some interesting rocks here. Cool. Took my first quick break at the uh, Wimanuchi Wilderness Boundary. There's a sign. And um, took a second to look at my maps and stuff to see what the plan is. So looks like I'm either going to stop about 10 and a half miles in at a lake to camp for the day, which will be really early. Or there's a saddle that has, it says a few trees and bushes that I could camp next to. Um, that's about 12 miles away, but that's going to kind of be weather dependent. So we'll see what it's going to do today. All right, see you down the trail. I find little open areas like this are really pretty scenic. Starting to run into more and more snow on the trail and uh, not even above tree line yet. So I ran into another female hiker that was heading uh, southbound and she said, be safe up there. So I asked her how bad the snow conditions were. Oh wow, this is slippery mud. And uh, she said, there's not a ton of snow, but it's very slippery. But the bright side, there's tons of water, so I shouldn't have to carry more than a liter on me at any time, which is awesome. Yeah, so stuff like that, it's really slippery, even though it's a small patch. You gotta really watch your footing. I slipped a little bit on the last one. Beautiful day. All right, this is my first significant snow field I gotta cross, and I don't wanna slide down there into that rock pile. This is steeper than what it looks like on the camera. Well, that got my adrenaline going a bit. <laughs> Okay, success. Let's see what's up ahead. Yeah, there's still quite a bit of snow up here in patches. So my trail is just a bunch of little snow melt streams and mud puddles and mud. Very slippery out here, but um, so far I'm doing okay. And like she said, lots of water. Came up on a little snowmelt lake. <laughs> it is soggy and wet up here. I'll tell ya. But I am so happy it is not raining yet. It's another little lake. I could use that as a water source, but I don't really need water yet, so I'm just gonna keep hiking. <laughs> Starting to 
get some views. And I am climbing up, I think, to a ridge line up. There's a lot of dead trees from beetle kill in this area. Pretty view down the valley to a lake down there. So that's what I just came across. Oh. This snow is just so slushy, slippery. I'm not even sure where the trail is at on this section, but uh, I know the general direction because it's all covered in snow, slushy snow. Hi, rain finally caught me, so I got to pull out my umbrella here. But now that I got all geared up, it seems like it's stopping, of course. <laughs> Finished another climb up through the forest out to this rock field. Little storm keeps coming by and spitting a little bit of rain. Not much. <laughs> but oh, so I'm wearing my rain jacket and sweating to death. But as sure as soon as I take it off, it's going to start up again. So, But there is some peeking through. One of my water sources here. But I'm still good on water, so I'm going to hike on. You have to navigate a lot of things like this across the trail. These blowdowns, dead trees that have blown over. But, um, wow, the sun's popped out for a minute. Man, that is nice. There's a decent sized lake down there. I don't know what lake. I don't know if I'm going near it. I doubt it, but let's see. Just came up another climb. I think I'm almost to that lake that I talked about stopping at, but I don't know. I'm going to stop there for lunch and I'll assess. I feel good and the weather holds, I might push forward a few more miles. Because otherwise I'm going to be sitting around for hours. Well, I think this is the lake. So I'm going to find me a spot to look at the map and have lunch. See what I'm going to do. Rest for a while. I have a marmot come in to check out what I'm doing. I'm trying out my feet and I am about to have lunch. <laughs> think he knows that. What you doing, dude? I'm not going to share. This guy's getting brave. He smells my food. He's only 10 feet away. <laughs> well, I'm getting hailed on now. I am hiding behind a little bitty pine tree because there's not very big trees over here by this lake. And, uh, I've got my umbrella out and I'm just hunkered down and I'm going to wait for this to pass and then uh, since it's so early as long as this passes over I think I'm going to push forward another six miles and camp uh, camp at this other spot that I've got in mind so wow it's little ice balls man this umbrella is coming in handy I'm hunkered down by that little bitty pine tree because I'm up in a high exposed area other than little bitty trees. <laughs> and now it's thundering and lightning. So I'm just going to sit here and wait till this passes because the next part of the trail climbs up over a ridge and I'm definitely not going up there in this. So I am just going to be sitting tight for a while. <laughs> Here's the little tree where I was sheltering when that storm blew through. And then it looks like it's moving off away from me now, which is good. So I'm going to go filter some water out of this little lake outflow. And um, give you a little picture of the lake. And then wait a little bit just to make sure the weather's not going to blow back through. And carry on. So there's the lake where I had lunch. So I'm heading up to a ridge uh, this way. I have a feeling I'm about to have to climb that. 
Ay, ay, ay. I was hoping it was going to be this little thing, but I see a trail over there. Ah, oh, my arch nemesis, <laughs> the willow tree. So I'm going to have to go through all this willow brush and I'm going to be soaking wet when I come out on the other side. <laughs> Taking shelter under a tree again to let another storm pass through because I'm about to go on a big climb. And I don't want to be up there and it's been thundering every now and then. So I'm just going to let this blow through and then go on. Getting some misty but really nice views. Lake down. Trying to outrun these storms. I have to get up over a ridge. I'd get there a lot faster if I quit stopping to take these photos. But such pretty little flowers in that backdrop. It's just been one storm after another. I am like so close to the top of this ridge, but it's been thundering all around me, and I'm not sure which way this storm is moving. So I'm by the very last of the trees before I'm above tree line, so I'm just gonna wait till the thunder stops. Be smart, especially when you're alone. All right, I couldn't take out the camera because it was hailing too hard. But look at this, it looks like snow laying on the ground almost. I think maybe in another 15 minutes I should be able to finish my ascent. Oh, that was a very tough climb, but oh my goodness. These views are spectacular. Oh my god. I'm gonna go around this way in a minute. We'll see what's over here. Talk about feeling like you're in another world. Man, even with the misty haze, it's gorgeous. Uh oh, I'm feeling hail again. I better get get moving. I cannot outrun these storms. And now I'm up on an exposed ridge line. So I'm about to hightail it. Because it looks like I'm up here for a while. <laughs> so maybe I can get it away from this way. Coming down this. And my trail traverses this. Oh, there was some snow up there. It's a little burn area. So awesome. And I have not seen anybody since I saw the girl going the other way early this morning. Okay, I came from over there. And I'm really enjoying this, especially now that I'm not being chased by a thunderstorm at the moment. Oh, this is just spectacular, like every turn opens up new views, it's so beautiful. So beautiful. filtered. I got my tent set up. I'm sure I'm going to get rained on tonight, but I'm ready. I got a nice, relatively flat campsite and uh, I got water close by. I am ready to start working on dinner. Well, this is the end of day one. I did 17 miles and 3,600 feet of elevation gain. I'm pretty tired. I think I'm gonna eat my dinner as soon as it's done here and brush my teeth and go to bed and it sounds like I'm about to get hit by another storm. Yippee. So hopefully my tent set up holds up. I'll see y'all tomorrow. There's so much hail.
lo que estás haciendo.